Hi, we're here at JITEX Week, and today we have with us Mohamed Al Khotani, Managing Director for KSA for SAP. Thank you for having us um, with you today, Mohamed. Thanks for having me. Thank you for your time. Um, so, just jumping into this, if you could tell me what the main trends that you notice among financial institutions in Saudi Arabia at the moment. Uh, so, basically, I, I would take it to one uh, step before, which is the transformation of the economy in Saudi Arabia and Middle East in general. So for the past years, uh, Saudi has been depending uh, heavily on um, oil as the source of economy. And uh, as you, of course, heard uh, with the vision that the country has, uh, the economy has been transformed to manufacture from upstream to midstream, downstream, from crude oil, refineries, chemicals, petrochemicals, raw material, and complete the whole manufacturing cycle. In the same time, entertainment is becoming a big and huge, I would say, source of uh, economic change uh, uh, exactly as well uh, and uh, all of this has to be supported by world-class financial services so banks I would assume nowadays under huge tremendous pressure in order to provide this change with world-class service in the same time banking sector it by its own is having the changes of you know, the mergers acquisitions in order for banks to become stronger and not to compete with each other because it's becoming a very competitive situation in the banking uh, industry. And at the same time, uh, they want to have a wider uh, you know, uh, customer uh, experience where they can uh, scale from you know, big B2B customers to the smallest also consumer uh, customers as well. So it is very dynamic, I would say, in the banking sector and uh, for sure very interesting for us to be part of that change. Okay, so from everything that you mentioned, basically banks are in Saudi Arabia are adjusting to the changes that are happening within the kingdom. So that's from your point of view. So having had, I'm assuming, conversations with these financial institutions, um, what did they say are their main concerns going forward? Well, uh, to be honest, it is uh, uh, the past two years for banks or the three years were, were I don't want to say tough, but they were not easy, uh, easy years. And things been starting to pick up in 2019. So I would say the energy uh, uh, is back again. If you notice and data drops, Saudi has jumped uh, to the rank seven in the G20, the strongest economies, and also to uh, the rank of 26th in the uh, competitiveness index that was announced in 2019. So by this, the, the, uh, I would say the profitability of the banks are expected to become better the interest rates are, are, are better, will become better for the banks. I would say the amount of transactions will, uh, will increase. Uh, CEOs and uh, banking uh, sector leaders are concerned of keeping up with this change and providing this, because if, if you look at the bank, they, they provide a very wide range of customers with service, from clerks uh, as consumers with uh, low income up to B2B, big companies that are uh, their need of financial services are extremely, extremely huge. Now, if you look at the dynamic of Saudi Arabia specifically, you have the regulatory, which is SAMA, is leading and having the banks, providing the banks with regulations that allow them to innovate, become agile, provide those world class uh, services with the Saudi payment services, Sadad, transactions that are happening across the according to them exactly. So they they are basically supporting the bank, and this is a blessing that we have in the country where we have the regulatory and uh, the central bank, which is SAMA in this case, uh, they, are, uh, they are supportive of, uh, of this change. The second thing, the economy of Saudi is not any more local economy supporting the need of the country. The economy of Saudi is becoming a global economy where you need even you know, a global international uh, financial uh, relationships are, uh, to be in, in, uh, in place. If you look at the Marai consumer as an example, it's a big dairy company, it's one of the biggest they export to the whole Middle East and they have plans to go even global. Uh, if you look at uh, Sabic, if you look at Milan Mining is picking up with Ras Al Fair and Wahid Shamal, the, the, the projects that are happening in Saudi. So I would say uh, the downstream is, is really picking up on midstream and, and this economy will have more export and this is why we will have a stronger GDP moving forward. Uh, hopefully uh, from uh, Saudi Arabia. So CEOs of the banks, they are, uh, I would say, watching the situation very carefully, making sure that we 
uh, should provide all of those changes, no disruption, keeping up with the scale that is needed and uh, adapting to the change that is happening to the economy. Okay, how are you supporting that concern uh, for, well, the, for yeah, the banks? I would, I would say, and the, the, the advice coming back to this point, that I always give to CEOs and banking leaders is do not underestimate the digital agenda. The role of Chief Digital Officer is becoming extremely, extremely, extremely important those days, yes. Uh, and I keep highlighting, not a Chief Information Officer or a Technology Officer, a Digital Officer, Chief Digital Officer. Because the digital, if, you, if, you, if I walk to any bank, and without naming any bank, I would say they have many uh, landscapes and environments for applications. Not less than 20 to 30, because it's very complex, as I told you, financial systems, uh, for transactions and loan management and code banking and backend systems and HR and finance and consolidation. Compliance is a big thing. So if, if I put all together, I would end up with many uh, uh, application environments. The advice is try to standardize your environment. Try to build a very strong foundation that will allow you to innovate to the next level. Because innovation for banks is not anymore within the four wall of the organization. It's going beyond. How can I have a very unique customer experience? The moment they interact with the bank, be it online or in the branch or through a, you know, a shopping mall uh, kiosk, uh, uh, all the way to becoming a very loyal uh, long-term uh, customer. So basically, the whole cycle of customer experience is important and we depend on, on the old data, the operational data and the X data, which we call it the experience data. The second thing the is ecosystem. the entire eco exactly, ecosystem of the bank. So it's not anymore the back end and the core banking. You know, it's beyond the four walls. How can I integrate suppliers all the way to my customers and make sure my employees are having an extremely good experience, my customers and also my, my suppliers at, uh, at the same time. Okay. Um, some people are saying that Saudi Arabia could be the next startup you know, hub or tech hub of the Middle East. What are your views on that? Well, I think we are, uh, we are getting there. Uh, with the support of the government to uh, small to medium enterprises, we can see a lot of uh, you know, startups uh, with, from the region that are being uh, acquired by uh, global companies. Kareem was the recent one here in UAE. Prior to that was Maktoub. Uh, yesterday, I was speaking to uh, ALJ, Abdullah uh, Jamil Top Management, and we talked about their uh, startup, uh, Rivian which is the electric cars, the, I would say the Tesla, the trucks for Tesla. It's in California, it's, Rivian is a very well-known brand. Uh, Jeff Bezos announced that he uh, bought into it uh, around $800 million, Ford as well. So, and this is a startup from uh, Saudi Arabia. So I would say it has the knowledge, it has uh, the uh, young uh, energy uh, thinking, energetic thinking. And uh, also it has the, uh, uh, the consortium around it that supported from government. And, uh, you see the soft infrastructure. Yes, yes, it, 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 it's there. Uh, it, it has a lot of area of improvements, but, uh, but I think we are, we are in, the, in the right direction. Okay, um, that sounds promising. Yeah. Uh, so from your point of view, uh, coming back to financial institutions, yeah. what are the main issues that banks should tackle first in their digital transformation exercises? Obviously. Everybody's, you know, all yeah. banks in the region are going through this. <coughs> so, what you, what, what would you say they should tackle first, and what should be their strategic priorities while uh, doing so? Yeah. Uh, so basically, uh, uh, we should always think of the future. I mean, uh, today is being managed, being met, and it's not bad situation. I can give you an example. Two months ago, also I don't, I, I'm not sure if I can name the bank, but my uh, debit card was uh, expired, and I went to the bank, and it was a a, a process through a machine. So if I, if I, if I talk uh, to, to a machine and, and I'm able to get in one minute <coughs> my debit card activated, printed, knowing that I'm a premier customer with a premier logo, pick the right card, connected to the e-government platform, checking my fingerprint, my facial recognition, that's by itself is a huge uh, uh, step. However, if you look behind this process, you would find multiple systems that are doing it. And more of those examples will bring supply uh, uh, blockchain into the, uh, the picture, we bring artificial intelligence, machine learning. So the artificial intelligence part in this case was used very quickly, connected to multiple systems to make it happen. However, in the future, if you add most of those innovation technologies together, while your foundation depends on many systems, you will end up with even worse situations. So my advice is 
come back, take a step back. Design things where you want to be in the future. See where you are today, how you can consolidate, go to standard, uh, try to as much as possible to be have a solid foundation and then build your innovation agenda with those examples uh, to it. And those two exercises should be done in parallel because businesses cannot wait anymore. They want everything yesterday. And with the pressure from uh, you know, uh, the economy, the rankings, the evaluation, the compliance, it's not easy to be in the middle of all of those changes and, and do the, the transformation. That sounds like very yeah. sound advice. Yeah. Do you have um, anything else to share with us? Well, it's just an exciting time uh, for us to be here at JITEX and also to be a part of this uh, change uh, in the financial sector. Uh, the use cases and the changes and the strategies, the conversations I have with the financial leaders are, are just amazing, phenomenal. I wish them all the best and I, I just would like to be part of that change, supporting the vision agenda of Saudi Arabia and the transformation that's happening at Muslim Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.